Hello and welcome back to my channel and welcome if you're new. My name is Audra and I post a video every Tuesday and Friday on beauty and fashion and lifestyle. And for today's video, I thought I'd go over my August favorites. I always do this each month and kind of round up all the products that I tried and really, really stand behind and loved from the month so that we can move into the next month. And this time, I'm gonna get ready with my favorites and do this look. Cause I've definitely been using these favorite products every day. So they've become my like updated everyday makeup routine. And then it's a little bit extra of a little eye look as well. I don't usually do too much on the eyes every single day, but I wanted to show you a palette that I've been really loving. So an extra little sultry grainy eye look as well. So let's get into doing my makeup with my August favorites. First favorite I have to talk about is the Merit Minimalist. I was wanting to try this for like months and months and I have not been disappointed since using it. I didn't have a like huge high hopes because I never was a huge fan of stick foundations but it's so much different than other like stick foundations like this that I've tried before. They say this is like a foundation and concealer in one and you really just put it like where you need it. So I always put it under my eyes where I have my dark circles around my nose is always really red and then any other like blemishes. So I'm kind of broken out here and here today. I mostly just focus it, you know, down the middle of my face and then just blend outwards. But it is so beautiful on the skin, the way that it kind of just melts into your skin and makes it look so natural. It looks like your skin, but just really even and beautiful. And I feel like it gives you that coverage that you really need just for like day to day, but without having to put on like a full foundation or anything. And it's kind of nice to like pinpoint where exactly you need it. I feel like a lot of times we all are guilty of like applying too much product in general when we probably don't really need it so it's nice to kind of just like use the little stick and pinpoint it exactly where you feel like you need it and then blend it in kind of just melts into your skin and you're left with a really pretty even base that's not like cakey or heavy like you barely feel it on your skin it's just a really perfect everyday like user-friendly product that i feel like anyone can really enjoy like you don't need to like know anything about makeup or anything you just it's just super easy packaging is nice and like small and sleek so it's really nice for traveling as well i just was kind of like blown away by this product and now I just feel like i really don't need <laughs> foundation day to day at all i just use this and then another thing would be this merit brush it's the number one brush i believe it's the only brush that i currently have it pairs perfectly with the minimalist for one and then i've also been using it for like cream bronzers and cream blushes it's that perfect like density and it has that little bit of like a tapered shape so it, like gets into like your cheekbone really nicely as well but it's just really like an all-around really just like one and done little brush you can use for so many different things so i feel like it's definitely like worth the hype worth the price because it's so like if you if you really just wanted like one base brush then i would recommend this one because it does so many different things and it's very like versatile i'm gonna put one more little dot on this pimple it's like i feel like it's definitely buildable it doesn't ever get for me at least like a full coverage look or like a full concealer look but i feel like it does build on top of itself to add just a little bit more coverage especially just like tapping it in with your finger just over like my couple blemishes here so like it doesn't fully cover things up but because it takes away like your redness and really just like dims down how like dark your spots look it just like takes it down a notch so it makes it look more just even and with this i feel like normally i want my blemishes super super covered 
but because it kind of just dims them down a little bit it makes my skin look nice and like natural it kind of gives me enough confidence to like not fully have them covered like i'm kind of okay with them peeking out like being just more natural like that because they're no longer like popping out at you i don't feel like anyone's gonna be like staring at them they just look like a natural part of your face you know if that makes sense i believe i mentioned this in my last favorites as well for last month um but it's the nars laguna bronzer and i still have been using it every day i've been liking having the lighter shade i mentioned before that usually i'd go decently deep with my bronzers because i like a really nice like contoured look i like to look nice and like sun-kissed and i just like it to be a little bit more intense i tend to go really natural with my makeup in general but like the one thing i do like to be nice and intense is like my cheeks and my bronzer and a really pretty blush and everything um, but this one I went to the lightest shade, so it's a little bit more natural. It's definitely enough color, like I still look like I have a nice little contour, nice bronze, but it's just a little bit more of a natural shade. I just really like the tone of it. It's more natural on me than like orange. It doesn't look fakey at all, I feel like. So it's the perfect everyday bronzer again that I've continued to get use out of all month i haven't really grabbed any other bronzer than this one and then it just layers really beautifully on top of the minimalist as well and then again with this brush i use it every time now for this bronzer as well i really love my everyday makeup to be super easy like a set amount of products that i can just grab and go it's super like minimalist so having a brush that does a lot of different things is really nice my july favorites i believe i mentioned the benefit crystal blush i still really like that and it's the a really perfect like bright summer blush but now we're moving more into the fall season so i still wear those that on occasion but ever since i got this um charlotte tilbury it's the pillow talk cheek to chic blush and this is in the shade pillow talk as well um i've been using this a lot too it's definitely more of a more like mauvey and warm tone so really perfect for fall coming up still has a little bit of like brightness a little bit of pink but it's just definitely more folly than that crystal blush so i've been really gravitating towards this it is a beautiful formula it has like a little highlighter almost in the middle of it so it has a really nice sh like sheen and luminosity to it so it kind of gives your cheeks a little bit of like shine makes your skin look like nice and healthy so i've been really liking that ever since i got it i'll feel like we all know by now that the Pillow Talk like shade is such a perfect everyday shade for so many different skin tones and that's what I feel like this is. If you're like not wanting to change the shade of your blush every season and you just want to like kind of splurge on one product that you know is going to really be pretty all year around, I feel like this is definitely it. It's just a really pretty tone. And then I have to talk about the Merit um, Day Glow Highlighting Balm in Citrine. My new favorite highlighter. I've never had one that's this beautiful, this like wet looking on the skin. Like I said in my full face of Merit video, I almost didn't get it because I've never been super like impressed by these like highlighting sticks. I just feel like I've never like crazily impressed, but I'm so glad I grabbed it because it's now my favorite one it makes your skin look wet and healthy and glowy it's just like so pretty and i love the citrine color because it's a true like gold color so super pretty i love gold always wearing gold i just feel like it needs to be more popular more talked about because <laughs> it's so pretty Obviously, I thought it was going to be like very similar to the Glossier Halo Scope. Um, it's definitely way more glowy than this, and this stays like tacky. And I always describe it as like kind of glue stick feeling on you. 
um, but this does not feel tacky or sticky at all it just blends into the skin really nicely and then you don't even feel it there all day it's so pretty look at that if I want more coverage mostly I do this like under my eyes I would add concealer a little bit but for every day I definitely don't feel like I need it a lot of times I feel like concealer on me um, makes my darker circles look even more pronounced anyway so if I don't add concealer at all I don't usually add any kind of powder to the minimalist I don't feel like you need it but like I said if you wanted to add like concealer under the eyes you definitely can it definitely builds on top of the minimalist nicely and blends out nicely but then I would set the concealer I don't feel like I need it today so therefore I'm not gonna add any powder and I also haven't really had like a favorite powder this month either. I've been kind of trying to just use up what I already have. Okay, for brows. So I've been usually using the Merit. It's the Volumizing Pomade. I have it in brown. I've been using this pretty much every day. It reminds me a lot of the Boy Brow from Glossier. It just adds a little bit of a tint to your brows and helps them like stay nice and like full and bushy. It doesn't have like the highest hold ever. It's not gonna like stick them in place all day or like cement them to your face um, but it's just a really nice like pretty thickening gel um, and I actually feel like I like the applicator better than the boy brow too because it's a little bit larger it's not too big where you feel like you're like getting it on your skin or anything but it's just a lot more quick for every day um, but then the Charlotte Tilbury too this is the brow fix clear brow gel so if you don't want a gel that has color in it like the Merit one and you're just looking for a brow gel I do really like this or if you like to like fill your brows in with a pencil or pen first or something and then just need a clear brow gel to go on top of it I really like this one and I like it because the wand and the little bristles are different than I've ever seen they're so teeny there's a lot of little bristles in here and they're really short and teeny and so I feel like this brush specifically grabs each individual hair and like lifts it and it does feel like that more cement feeling gel. It definitely holds them a lot better. You feel like when you move your eyebrows you kind of like feel it on there. It definitely has a higher hold than like this Merit one. So if I'm just going for a clear brow gel or if I'm like filling my brows in first with a pencil or something and don't want any extra color that I've been using the clear brow gel. Super nice. Again, I feel like Charlotte Tilbury is not known for their brow products really, so I feel like it definitely isn't talked about a lot, but really nice product. But I'm gonna put the Merit one through my brows today because I'm not gonna, I don't have any other favorite brow products, so I'm not gonna fill them in with anything else. So I need a little bit of color, I feel like. It just like lifts them really nicely. It makes my brows look a little bit more full, especially the little hairs towards the end of my brows are really light, so it starts to they look, start to look pretty short. But this adds a little bit of color, so it kind of like elongates them a little bit. My eyebrows are like such different shapes right now. For every day, I usually just put a little bit of powder bronzer through my crease on my eyes just to give my eyes a little bit of like definition and depth. But I wanted to talk about the Charlotte Tilbury palette. It gets really beautiful. I've never used Charlotte Tilbury shadows before, before getting this, but it's a nice giant palette. You have a lot of different like looks you can do in here. It is separated in like kind of four different sections, four different looks, but obviously you can cross use them and get a lot of different looks out of here. I specifically like this green section because I my favorite color is green. I love green and I feel like it just goes with the kind of color palette I've been liking, especially going towards fall now. So I've just been loving how shimmery these are, very sultry. I feel like all the shimmers in here can be just like one and done shadows. Just like literally take your finger and pat it all over the lid and it would just be pretty by itself so I've definitely been using this a lot i think i'm going to just take my finger and take this green shadow and just put it on the lid for some shimmer it reminds me so much of some of the cream shadows that i have like the nude sticks cream pencils i feel like it looks like that a lot 
I just feel like because they're so shimmery and so like pigmented, they just they appear like cream shadows on your lid. So like I feel like put some mascara on and this would even be pretty. I definitely would wear this by itself. I've been liking a full shimmer eye lately. So I'm gonna take this like deeper brown shade, it's kind of like a gray brown, and put that on a blending brush and put that in the crease. Just be a little bit more of a dramatic look. But like I said, I've been loving the just full shimmer looks and I've been liking them, I feel like, ever since getting this palette just because they're such pretty shimmers. Blend out the harsh edges a little. And that is my kind of eye look. So I've just been loving this palette. I feel like it's super user-friendly, super easy to create these really pretty, especially for fall, like sultry, shimmery looks like that is literally just two shadows and you're done and it looks like you spent time on your eyes i feel like you don't need to like really be amazing at makeup or anything but it's just super easy to create really simple quick looks that look really really pretty there's not really a mascara that i've been like obsessed with or anything this month so I think I'm just going to apply the Lash Paradise Mascara. Definitely a decent mascara, but I more so just have a couple that I'm trying to use up at the moment. Okay, for lips. For lip liner, I haven't tried anything really new or had any like different favorites or anything. Um, but I have kind of switched over more so for fall with like a deeper tone. So this is the Anastasia lip liner in deep taupe and so i kind of been pulling this out a little bit more and going for something a little bit deeper like this a lot of times i'm wearing my charlotte tilbury pillow talk lip liner that's a lot more like pink i feel like a little bit more summery so i've been gravitating more towards this anastasia lip pencil lately a really pretty neutral too but more of like a brownie neutral than like a pink so just a little bit more like and I do like the formula of these. I like a pencil that I have to sharpen. I know some people like more of the twist up ones but I really don't mind the pencils. So not really like a new favorite or anything but I've just been gravitating towards this one lately. Kind of end of summer into the fall. And then this one has been a favorite in August. It's the Merit tinted lip oil in sangria they have a lot of different shades of this so definitely you can find something that you like it is a really really pretty fall tone but why this is a favorite is because of the formula it's a very light lip oil it's not like a thick oil at all light little oil it looks really pretty by itself as well if you just want a really light layer and like wash up color on your lips um but with lip liner it makes it definitely a little bit more dramatic but they explain this on the website as like a lip oil and like a stain as well because the color definitely stays on your lips longer. Just a really pretty formula, very comfortable, very soft and hydrating on the lips. And like I said, you can really like sheer it out, just do a really light wash for every day. Otherwise, with like this lip liner, it's definitely more of an intense look, but that sangria color definitely a really pretty tone for fall so i know these are definitely popular um but i went and tried it and definitely give my sample of approval as well really really pretty and very comfortable and hydrating and again another really like versatile merit product so that is the finished look okay so those are my august favorites and also my kind of updated like everyday makeup routine Plus an extra little eye look just because I wanted to mention that palette as well. I always like to like close out the month with one of these, go over everything I tried and everything I've been really loving. And just mention again like products that I actually stand behind and totally recommend. I think are worth, worth the money. Now I can move into September, move into fall. Tomorrow is my birthday. So I'm excited to do some fall looks and then keep trying new things. So if there's anything you want me to try on my channel, definitely comment down below. 
Otherwise, just let me know what have you been really loving and don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel. I will see you on Friday for another new video.